You right, everybody? Uh, another request. So you wanted to see the field master up against the um, deluxe tinker. All right, we'll go through the deluxe tinker first. Uh, I just want to catch up on the last video. On the Swiss champ, there's a disgorger, fist disgorger, with a ruler and a descaler, right? That's a handy little tool, right? I'll remember to get it back out and I'll try this, like, you know, because all these tools have got other purposes. You wanted to see Fieldmaster up against the Deluxe Tinker. We'll go through the Tinker first. Tinker, small blade, larger blade. The scissors in the finger grips and the opening set and you also get the 3D posi drive on the side and you see in there there's a little pin there's a little hole, one second there's a little pin in there and most models come with the hole already there for the pin and you just buy a pin stick it in Skilled the uh, rear tools is the multi purpose hook, which is quite handy, and the sewing reamer all, which is a good bit of kit. Don't forget that if you've got a little angle grind and stuff like that, you can mod these blades to what you want them to be. You know, I know somebody, uh, pe some people mod the tin opener into like a uh, jaggedy, pokey thing, but that's the uh, deluxe tinker for me, right. This Deluxe Tinker, right, although it's a good little knife, I think it's sort of heads its way towards a fishing kit knife or maybe it's even a knife to stick in your cook kit, you know what I mean? Because you can use the finger grips there, the pliers to pick up hot pans. But this one generally goes in my fishing kit. Sometimes I go sea fishing, sometimes I'll get myself down to Loch Lomond, try to catch a few roach. But uh, it's becoming less and less these days, but that's... That was the purpose behind me buying the Deluxe Tinker. Uh, yeah. And this here is the... Is a Tinker... Oh, the Tinker with the scissors on, right? So I think it's the Tinker Plus. Right? Uh, that's always lying about, like, out on the... In the house. It's like my house knife. It's got no saw on it. Okay, so that was the uh, Deluxe Tinker, the Field Master, the opening set, the scissors and the saw, and your two blades, your large blade and your shorter blade. Uh, and on the Field Master, the side tool is the 3D screwdriver in place of the corkscrew which you get on the huntsman <clears throat> and the scale tools uh, the rear tools sorry reamer and the uh, multi-purpose hook they're quite a nice knife and the uh, huntsman was extremely popular when we were younger and because my brothers all had huntsmen and we, we all got a huntsman I went off and I bought I'm sure this was called the officer's field knife I'm sure it was with the uh, 3D screwdriver. But for me, I think once you get used to a knife with um, whatever side tool that you've got there, you get used to that kind of knife, you know what I mean? But uh, the core screw, you know, it's got its functions. I mean, the 3D screwdriver is probably more apt these days, but with the core screw, you can get that little mini screwdriver in. I've tried to fit little bits of ferrocene rod down inside the corkscrew before now, but you've got to get them that thin that just it just doesn't seem worth it. I think I mentioned uh, you can get a scale tool now called the, I think it's the Firefly, which is a, a ferrocene rod, but they're that size, you know what I mean? They're about the size of a toothpick. And for the money, I just thought more. If anybody's got one of those fireflies in the, in the Swiss Army Knife who watches me, let me know. Let me know what you think of them. Other is brittle as the look. 
but that's the um, Field Master up against the um, Deluxe Tinker. Just for me, right? Just for me, because because I've got a few Victorinox, right? If you're looking at it, something like a Deluxe Tinker, you really do want to look start looking at the Handyman, because with the Handyman you get the saw and the full rear tools. And the price difference between these knives isn't that particularly great, you know what I mean? Uh, what else I want to show you? Right, this here. I showed you that, right? Yeah, that's the uh, Super Tinker. That's the Tinker with the scissors on. Like I say, I'll leave that lying about. Uh, I just want to show you this here, which is the Farmer. The farmer's a great little knife, you know what I mean? You get the saw, like I said, stuff that's been used, but you know, I do use bits of my kit. Some bits of kit have never been used, right? Because they're in a box somewhere waiting to go into a kit. And because I've got that many, they all look, they fairly rarely get heavy use, do you know what I mean? But the farmer's a good knife, like I say, you get the saw, you get one big main blade, you get this little, one second. You get a big blade which is a little bit beefier than the standalone Victorinox standard blades and you get this which is no no reamer but that is sharp and you can get that you can put an edge on that I use that little tool there quite often as it happens bringing for little starting screw holes and stuff like that absolutely brilliant for things like that and there uh, on the farmer you get the opening sets again a little bit beefier than the ones on the normal ones but they're not that expensive farmers compared to a, um, a huntsman or a, a field master. There's not that much price price difference. But I think, like I say, I think um, having the extra saw in the scissors just makes that, a, you know, you can get a lot more done with something like that because you can keep your nails trimmed, you know what I mean? The saw... If anybody's got a Victorinox, they'll tell you that the saw is that actual saw, you know what I mean, for cutting bran thin branches just or notches. Brilliant. And it's excellent for scraping your ferrocene rod with the back of the saw. You know? And the bottle openers and the and the can opener out in the field, you might think, well, there's not much use for them. But, you know, you can. You can use the screwdriver as a pry bar. Uh, you can score things with the little tin opener, you know what I mean? There's, you know, adapting it adapt but I, I really do think they're good tools and I was going to show you this yeah I've got this in a box I keep this in a box but this gets used sometimes one second and this year is called the compact right now I personally think this compact here for around town EDC is the knife to have and I'll just show you why what we get with a compact, right, is one single blade, we get the main blade, this here they're called the multi-opener, right, you open cans with it going the opposite way that you do with the other Victorian Ox, you get bottles open with it, screwdriver, little pry bar, and a little wire bender stripper thing there, right, one second, and the other main tool is the scissors, which are extremely good little little pair of scissors right so you get quite a fair little bit on three just on three main blades there the multi opener scissors in the larger blade on the rear what we've got here is it comes all singing and dancing so we've got the pin the corkscrew and the screwdriver the rear tool is a multi-purpose hook on that multi-purpose hook there's a little nail file in there Right, that's the, the back edge is filed off. Don't know if it's going to pick that up there. But that back end's been milled, look, it's been machined into a file, nail file. So again, glasses, pin for your flower ups, multi hook. You get the toothpick, the tweezers, and the pen on the compact. And it's it's a very small little knife, you know what I mean? It's not very big at all, but that's got, for around town, that's got all you need. That's a brilliant little knife, I thought. And that's the compact. 
And again there, fairly reasonably priced for what you get, considering you get all the bits. You get the pen, pin, mini screwdriver, you get the scissors, plenty of opening capability and screwdriver and uh, the main blade, backup pen, brilliant little bit of kit for around town. So again, super tinker, no the tinker deluxe, tinker deluxe, for me, good little fishing kit knife, that was up against the field master, very popular knife, uh, I think the field, field master could possibly overtake the huntsman because of the modern day screwdriver, uh, that's the super tinker, it's the tinker with the scissors, all the, all the tinker range have got the screwdriver bit on it, so you have to the screwdriver bit, have a look at the tinker range. Uh, and another just a little quick look at the farmer, which pound for pound, they're cheaper than, they're cheaper than the, um, far cheaper than the Deluxe Tinker, and approximately the same price bracket as a Field Master Stroke. Uh, Huntsman. And that there's just uh, that's just a normal pioneer. It's like the farmer without the saw. Uh, like I say, if I'm not carrying that compact, I've generally got this on, which is the Pioneer X, which is uh, got the scissors on rather than the saw, compared to the farmer. But the farmer's a good little knife, really good little knife. I like the farmer. Uh, again, see there, look, the pioneer up against the farmer. I would go for the farmer every time if I just had to buy one of them. And like I said, generally wear that with this. Well, I generally wear that suited and booted like, but that never happens these days. But because I use uh, that reamer on these knives quite a lot. I took the kind that most of the times now rather than put the compact in. But the compact's a really good knife to look at. 